going to show you how to make a very simple buttonhole for an extra large button. As you can see, this button is huge, so no way would it fit into your buttonhole foot. But I like this buttonhole because you can also use it on a very difficult fabric. A fabric I'm wearing, for example, the chances are if you've got an, an automatic buttonhole foot, it gets stuck in the fabric. We've used it in class many times on boucles and very sort of hairy textured fabrics. And I also use it on fabrics where perhaps, or on jackets, where you've got um, a pocket in the way of your buttonhole foot. Because for those of you with automatic buttonholers, you will know as soon as the um, buttonhole foot hits the pocket or a lump in the fabric, it shoots back the wrong way. And if you're terrified of your sewing machine, this is also a great buttonhole. Now, the dimensions of this buttonhole and your stitch widths will depend very much on the overall width of your machine stitch. Some machines do a 5mm stitch, some do a 7mm stitch, some do a 9mm stitch. This machine I'm using actually does a 9mm stitch, so I can get sort of wider gaps in between my two sort of bands of stitching. So we've marked it up exactly the same way, so I've got um, the beginning of the buttonhole, the end of the buttonhole, and the centre line of the buttonhole. I'm now going to put my sewing machine onto a zigzag stitch. Now because my machine goes up to 9mm, I'm going to stitch here and here two bars uh, using a stitch width of 3.5 and a stitch length of 0.6. If your machine is only a 5mm machine wide, you want to, might want to do a stitch width here of 2 um, and a stitch width there of 2, or you could be really daring and take it up to 2.5 width and 2.5 width with a little gap in between. And then when you work your bar tacks, which are usually on the maximum uh, stitch width. You might have to do a 5mm and then just overlap it in the middle with another 5mm. So you can play around with this and really whatever maximum stitch width your machine does, there's a way of doing this. So my machine's all set up. I'm going to go and machine these now uh, on 3.5 of them. I'm then going to take my stitch width up to the maximum 9mm, stitch my two bar tacks and then I'll show you how to chop it in the middle. Okay, so now we've stitched our extra large buttonhole. So I can just chop off my threads. If you're worried about them um, unraveling, then you just pull them through and knock them off. And to cut that, I'm going to use a buttonhole chisel. If you haven't got one of these handy little gadgets, they're well worth getting. They are exceedingly sharp though, and you do need a cutting mat underneath. So if I just take that tack out, I don't want to cut through that. So just put your chisel into your buttonhole in the centre and press down and it gives a really sharp clean cut that hopefully won't cut through your stitches. So there we have, if you get a, the odd thread that hasn't cut then you can just take your scissors to it but it just gives a really nice sharp cut. So now we have an extra large buttonhole for an extra large button. Mm -hmm.